Acapulco, it's like a really big city right on the coast. Um, it was really famous around like the 50s, 60s. Around then, um, it was a huge tourist attraction. There are songs by Frank Sinatra and Elvis that like mention Acapulco. They've got an airport there. Um, but the tourism has declined a lot because of the increase in crime. Um, there you will hear about violence and stuff that's happening in Acapulco. Uh, but I've never heard of a missionary being harmed in Acapulco. Um, they tend to respect the missionaries. I had two areas in Acapulco, so I got to see like the <clears throat> the El Centro, which is more of a dangerous part of Mexico or of Acapulco. And over in that area, if you go on the coast, you know, there aren't like many foreign tourists. There are just like people from like Mexico City that are on vacation. We had to ride along the street that's on the coast a lot of the times. And um, you, I don't know, you'd see a lot more Mexicans partying around on the beach in that area. And then towards the east side of Acapulco on the coast is where they've got casinos and hotels that are really fancy and nice. And that's where the foreigners tend to go. And that actually kind of <clears throat> divides the two stakes um, Costa Azul and Acapulco or like divided I don't know how it is anymore <laughs> they might have added another stake I don't know but um, so like there's the wealthier side and there's the you know poorer side of Acapulco in Acapulco it's really cool you either ride around in taxi or on these giant buses that they call camiones or trucks um, but they're like old school buses that everybody's just painted to make like their own and they drive really fast along the coast or around that area and they'll just like stop and like yell at you to get on and they're just in a rush always and they've always got loud music I mean it's just kind of an experience a nice like cultural experience it's it's kind of funny like that that's what they truly like um and the taxis are little Volkswagen Beetles, but like from a long time ago, they're old. And so they're just driving these old clunkers around and like all of the taxis basically look the same. As you start to delve deeper into Acapulco, there's different modes of transportation. They've got um, these tunnels that go through a mountain to get to the backside of Costa Azul. Um, some areas called Reina, and I can't remember the other name, but there are these nicer like air conditioned buses that go that way, a little more expensive. And there are also some taxis that, you know, look like cars from the nineties, still not like really nice cars, but you know, there, there's more space in it than the Beatles. Um, and then not particularly, in my first area but in my second area they actually had like these trucks that would drive around with a little cage on the back um not like you know lock you in a cage but just like metal bars and stuff to have like a little sunroof and then had some seats and you would ride on those and sometimes if there were too many people you would just like hang on to the back um in my last area we used those a lot they were pretty cheap. They would take us from like the coast up to where we lived. Um, in Acapulco, you usually live in some kind of apartment building. Um, my first apartment was nice for Acapulco. I got there and I was like, this is not nice. But my companion was like, this is so nice because he'd actually been in Mexico for a while. Um, uh, one thing that might take a little get the little getting to used to is getting to used to getting used to um, is the fact that there are bars on all the windows and doors like at first you kind of feel alarmed but I mean it's a safety precaution and it's okay like I never had anybody try and break into any of my houses there are a lot of 
different stores and stuff in Acapulco. Like you can just walk down the street and there's a tienda or like a few of them. If you're hungry, like there are lots of restaurants. Um, the food is generally pretty simple down in Acapulco. Uh, they do have a soup called pozole that is really good in Acapulco. They also have that like all over Mexico, but it changes from state to state. Um, it's pretty consistent from Acapulco and Morelos, but I just remember having pozole in Acapulco and just loving it. Um, they also have really good mole. It's really common for the men to be taxi drivers. Like that, that's just super common. <laughs> They've all done it at least once, you know? Towards the east side, there's more, there are more trees and um, less buildings. But generally, like in the middle of Acapulco, it's just buildings. Um, there are parts in, in my last area where I don't know what happened, like they were planning on constructing and it just didn't happen. So like the water washed it away. So there are like sandy parts just randomly in the middle of Acapulco where there are like no buildings and you're just walking on a dirt trail. Like it's really weird cause you're walking like in the middle of the city and then all of a sudden you're just in the middle of like the hills. Not many animals <laughs> in Acapulco. We did have a few crazy rainstorms um, and those streets, when there's a really big rainstorm, the streets turn into rivers. And we went around tracting one day in the middle of one of these storms and nobody was outside. We were the only people walking around. And like, I guess people got washed away to the ocean from that. So, I mean like my, our mission president later told us to stay inside. <laughs> But like it, the, the weather can get pretty crazy in Acapulco, especially during hurricane season. Um, I know that recently there was uh, Hurricane Patricia that came in. Um, kind of the tail end touched Acapulco, but they're on the coast. Like the rainstorms can get a little crazy. And if you're up in the hills, like the water comes rushing down. So other areas, in Acapulco got flooded and that's what happened to them so it's fun <laughs> it, it was it was interesting like even though like Acapulco is like a big city people tend to like get to know you even if they don't know you like they'll be like oh there's those missionaries again they'll remember you and so like if you walk past a certain place frequently and then you talk to somebody that's at that certain place they'll be like oh yeah I see you walking by all the time and so it's like really good to, you know, greet people, say hello. Um, there is a lot of poverty in that area. Um, just in like the like alleyways and stuff, they'll have like little like wooden shacks. Um, I, I don't know of a better term than alleyway, but like they've got like canals and stuff that don't have water in them. I call that an alleyway. I don't know. <laughs> it's not well organized like like Provo or like any cities that you've probably been to in the United States. Uh, it's just looks like somebody just started building things. Looks like your little brother built a town out of Legos, like just decided he would put this stuff here and a little building here. Oh, there's space here. Let's put something there. You know, it's just kind of, it's got this hectic feel about it. So sometimes it's hard to find like people's apartments if somebody doesn't show it to you but I don't know it's fun um, there are lots of hills so you get your exercise in people are generally pretty kind to the missionaries um, as far as I'm concerned I never had any problems with anybody in there in Acapulco